A company's technology architecture is the blueprint of how all digital systems, applications and databases are interconnected. It's the digital complexity of the firm. A basic awareness of the firm's digital complexity is needed to have a proper understanding of the company's ability to introducing new digital products and services, and even physical offerings as well. In other words, an unnecessary complex technology architecture limits the company's ability to respond to market changes, and that will have a negative impact of the company's competitiveness. Technology is today as integrated in business operations as spreadsheets are for finance, but while all C-level executives and board members are fluent in spreadsheets, many still lack a basic understanding of the technologies that will make or break their companies in the future. I believe that if you are to run a company, you need to have a basic understanding of all the tools and tricks of the trade in and around the business and industry you're in, which is why I made Fredericks 5 a series of five minutes introductions to the digital tools and concepts that matters the most. Understanding tech architecture enough to ask the right questions to the enterprise architect and thereby understanding how to help the company progress and succeed requires knowledge of at least four key elements. You need to know number of running applications in relation to the company size, the application's interconnectedness, the technical debt that has been built in the company over the years, and the company's ability to easily connect with outside systems and applications. Let me explain. Having an overview of how many different applications are active provides you with an idea of how complex the digital landscape of the company is. As a rule of thumb, the more applications, the more complex landscape and hence the less digital agility of the firm. Now, there is no magic number for how many applications should be active in a given company, but a good way of getting an indication of the complexity is to look at key end-to-end -end processes and analyze how many applications each process requires access to. This leads to the second point, your understanding of how interconnected the systems or applications are. The more interconnected, the more complex and again the less digital agility. Understand to what agree the applications are depending on each other and how a change in one application needs to be analyzed and considered for other applications. Understanding this enables you to understand the concept of technical debt. Technical debt is the cost of additional rework costs by choosing an easy solution now instead of using a better approach that would take longer. Same as financial debt, if technical debt is not repaid, it accumulates interest, making it harder to implement changes in the future. Put simplistic, the business is forcing the IT development team to complete a change or project fast, and IT cuts corners to deliver on time. Next time, IT needs to take the consequences of the corner cutting into the development effort, known as impact analysis, which will increase the total time of development. Repaying technical debt may seem like an unproductive task, but it will significantly improve the firm's digital agility and enable for faster future developments, and hence increase the company's competitive position. So far, I've been talking about the number of running systems, applications, how they're interconnected and dependent on each other, and how cutting corners in software development increases the company's technical debt. All very important parts of the technology architecture and a clear indication of the size of the firm's digital challenges in the light of becoming agile, competent and advanced. The last, but for sure not the least, you need to understand is how easy it is for the company to connect to the outside world, to customers, partners and the industry's ecosystem. I believe personally the future consists of connected companies exchanging information seamlessly to provide customers with the best possible experience and to optimize the firm's internal processes and operations. If the company has many interconnected applications and a high technical debt, the chances of the company being able to connect easily to the outside world are low and that's an important topic that needs to be addressed. I will speak more about this when I address the concept of APIs, application programming interfaces and two-speed IC in other Fredericks files. Thanks for listening in. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel to get notified when I upload my Fredericks files. Thank you so much.